In this video, I'm going to do a very quick review of the concept of allocative efficiency and how it connects to equilibrium um, in competitive markets. So, in order to understand the concept of allocative efficiency, we need to understand the concept of consumer surplus, the concept of producer surplus, and the concept of social or community surplus. So consumer surplus is basically um, the additional satisfaction that consumers get from consuming a product when they end up paying less for it than they were originally willing and able to pay. So all consumers in the market pay the, you know, the equilibrium price. But some consumers may have been willing and able to pay more for that product. So that additional satisfaction from, from paying less than what they were originally willing and able to pay is called consumer surplus. Producer surplus is the opposite. All producers receive the equilibrium price in exchange for their product, but some producers may have been willing and able to provide that product for a lower price. So that difference between what they're willing and able to provide the product for and the price that they actually receive is their producer surplus. Now, when you add consumer surplus and producer surplus, CS plus PS, that gives us the total community or social surplus. So consumer surplus is often the triangle below the demand curve um, up until the equilibrium price. It's this red triangle here. That's the total consumer surplus. Producer surplus is the triangle above the supply curve up until the equilibrium price, which is this blue triangle here. So that brings us to the concept of allocative efficiency. Basically, allocative efficiency occurs when the total marginal benefit of consuming this product is equal to the total marginal cost of producing this product. Okay, The extra benefit of consuming an additional unit of that product is equal to the extra cost of producing um, that what, an additional unit of that product. And basically, allocative efficiency occurs when scarce resources are allocated to produce the goods and services that society wants or desires. Social surplus is maximized. This occurs at equilibrium in a competitive market. So allocative efficiency occurs at equilibrium. Why? Because the supply curve represents the marginal social cost. The domain curve represents the marginal social benefit. And at equilibrium, MSC is equal to MSB. The extra benefit to society of producing one additional unit, MSB, is exactly equal to the extra cost to society of producing one additional unit, which is MSC. Allocative efficiency is achieved and community surplus is maximized at equilibrium. So to understand why this is the case, let's have a look at a situation where allocative efficiency doesn't exist. So we know that allocative efficiency occurs when MSB is equal to MSC. So ideally, the economy, sorry, this market should be producing QE and at a price of PE. Now, let's assume for whatever reason, the market is actually producing Q1. At Q1, you see that MSB is higher than MSC. So at Q1, MSB is higher than MSC. In this situation, society as a whole would actually benefit from producing more of that good or service. This good or service is underprovided or underproduced, okay, for whatever reason. It might be that there's um, low supply or it might be that there's low demand. But the point is because at Q1, MSB is higher than MSC, there is still more benefit to producing additional units of that product, okay? And the opposite is true. Now, once again, we said that allocative efficiency occurs at equilibrium. So ideally, for this product, the society should be producing, the market should be producing QE. But let's say for whatever reason, the market is producing Q2. Now, at Q2, you can see that MSC is higher than MSB. At Q2, the marginal social cost is higher than the marginal social benefit. In this case, society would actually benefit from producing less of that good or service. So a very good example is harmful products like, say, cigarettes and alcohol. These are often over-provided and over-produced and over-consumed, and society would actually benefit 
benefit from producing less of that good or service. So to really understand allocative efficiency, you need to look at situations where certain products are over provided or over produced by the market um, slash under provided or under produced by the market. Um, remember, allocative efficiency occurs when um, scarce resources are allocated to producing the goods and services that society wants or desires. And it happens at the intersection of the demand and supply curve at equilibrium in a competitive market. I hope this was a good review. Please contact me if you have any questions.